Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I've got all the lights on today, it is, it's not even 12 o'clock yet. I'll, I'll leave for work about 1 and the weather's utterly dreadful. It is pissing down so I've got all the lights on. I think this might be too bright, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to go with it anyway, I can't really see what it looks like in the, in the mirror, in the reflection but I'm going to stick to this really bright, bright light and just see whether the, the camera sort of fixes it for me. It probably won't, it'll probably be too shitty but I think that's probably better. I don't know. Yeah, I'll just go with this. That's a little bit. I think that looks more better. Fuck knows. Okay, just talked enough shit already. Noble Otter Flying Hide. Now, this is Bergamot Bay. Not Bergamot Bay. Bergamot Bay Smoky Cedar Tobacco and Leather. Now, I picked up five soaps from Noble Otter, they all smell great, even this one smells nice, but this one here was probably the biggest letdown of the five, I was really looking forward to this one, it was getting rave reviews for the scent and all that, and then leather, and it's, it is a nice leather scent, it smells like sort of a leather wall that you've had for years, rather than fresh out the bag, or fresh out the packet, that real new leather, it smells like a worn leather, but that's it, that's all I can smell, I can't smell anything else, so the test will be in the lather today. Comes in a four ounce tub. The labels are really, really nice now. And quite OCD with labels, so the label on top, spot on. In the centre. The label around the side is not. And I know it's a very small thing. For me, it pisses me off. I'm not a fan of squint things. I like things to be straight. It's, it's just who I am, personally, with sort of. It's not OCD, I don't think, but I'm not far off it. It just sort of winds me up a bit. So other than that, other than that being a bit squint, the labelling is lovely. The tubs are great, good solid tubs. Well packaged, really nice. Four ounces of soap. Soap looks like that. But it's just a leather scent. I, I don't smell any tobacco. I don't smell anything else in it. So I'm going to be using my Pasteur's 2017. Yeah, Pasteur's 2017 Envy Shave Brush which looks almost like sort of fire and flames there's the coin there beautiful brush, lovely knot, it's got a 24-25mm black wool sort of hybrid fan it's not the ultra fan and it's not the, the normal fan, it's like in between it's one of my favourite knots in the den, so let's get it dipped in the water another warm water shave today because it is freaking freezing over here now it's, it's bloody cold so here we go, straight into the dry Noble Otter soap, I've never used Noble Otter soaps before I've read reviews on their older formula and it got pretty good reviews but they weren't mind blowing reviews. This new soap formula however, the reformulated one that I've got here, has been getting rave reviews all over the place and that's what sort of turned me on to giving them a go. So for the five soaps shipped to Australia, it was 114 US, which isn't too bad, it was 30 bucks shipping and I've sort of ripped Nothing I can do about shipping now, it's, that's just, it is what it is. I just need to make the best of it. Yeah, it's opening up a little bit. It still smells just like leather to me. Now, I've never lathered this soap before, this is the first time. I don't, I'm not test lathering it. I don't know, I really don't know. I'm not sure if I'm smelling anything else in it or whether it's just that leather scent. It's a nice scent, it's warming, which is good for shitty weather like this. But I don't know, it doesn't paint the picture of what my mind thinks it's going to smell like with the tobacco and the, the bergamot and things. Lone Star, for me, is a nicer scent and it's got, it has the leather in there as well and hay, I think some other things as well. Right, let's start painting some water in. It 
Scent strength isn't the strongest on this one either, I noticed. It's quite quite a mild scent. So around about a three, three to a four in scent strength, which isn't an issue. But you can still smell it. But it's not not super strong. So I, I don't know whether that's part of the issue that I'm just not picking up the other things as well because of that, I don't know. Is a tallow based soap. So I'm just painting the water in until it goes translucent on the skin. A little bit, which probably this is the last dip. I did load the brush quite heavy. Right, here we go. Let's see how this new Noble Auto formula lathers up. Ingredients list is tiny. I don't have my glasses on, so it's hard work. Dip my tips again. Well, it's certainly thirsty. I know that. I can tell you that already. It's thirsty. It's definitely a very creamy soap. That's a that is a stunning ladder. Holy shit! Really, really easy to make. Nothing difficult about that. You'll, you'll make that lather in your sleep. Really nice. The scent I'm getting is leather, and I'm getting leather and leather. That's it. Now, if it's leather that you're after, this is the scent to go for. It smells like leather, but that's all I get. It's light. It's a light scent. It's not in your face. So here we go. Colonial General Single Edge Razor. I thought these were expensive, they're not that bad. $99 American from Colonial General Colonial Razors.com. Colonial Razors.com. Nice looking razor. Not my thing, like I'm not a big fan of single edge. Solid stainless, sort of bead blasted matte finish. And I've got the Kai Captain Mild second juice. So here we go. Okay, straight away, I can tell you right now it's a better shaver than the Mongoose for me. Far better, far smoother. It's the exact same blade that I've got in these razors. It's a lot lighter. Not a lot lighter, but it's lighter. It's a smaller handle, which I prefer the shorter handle as well. It's not as chunky, it's not as cumbersome, it's not as difficult to sort of navigate over your, over your angles on your skin. It's definitely a lot nicer to use, for sure. In fact, if I'm honest, it's actually quite a nice razor to use. Very smooth. This blade's much better after that first little scraping use of it when I did my first face shave, when I did half and half. I did notice on the blade, I don't know whether it's something, whether it looks it's obviously been heat treated, I believe that the actual blade edge is blue. Where the like, you heat steel and it goes that blue colour, it goes that sort of blue and purpley sort of colour. 
I don't know what they call it, heat treating, I don't know. That's very smooth. Now there's quite a bit of blade feel with these, these razors I find. But it's it's comfortable blade feel, it's nothing it's not very nice. some slick ass post shave slickness or so residual slickness really slick like really slick I can feel it in my hands it's hard to get off I'm just gonna have a quick squeeze at these ingredients if I can without put my glasses on stearic acid beef tallow coconut milk aloe vera glycerin potassium hydroxide castor oil coconut oil avocado oil lanolin tacuma seed butter cocoa butter sodium hydroxide fragrance bentonite clay Tocopherol acetate, citric acid, watermelon extract, white willow bark extract, and tussa silk. What a set of ingredients! I can feel it. That's incredibly slick. Like, I mean, that's been sat in my face now, just drying for that few seconds, and that is just gliding over my skin. Really impressive lather. Look at that. It hasn't even budged. Look. I have to say, since pretty much, I don't know whether it was the sort of catalyst for it, but since Holy Core released the donkey milk formula, every soap company has upped their game, pretty much every soap company. Ingredients in this soap are exceptional. The ladder that you create is exceptional. It's really thirsty. I don't have to do this, I'm doing this basically for the review. Just building up the lager again to see how nice it goes again with more water in it. With this lather, with this this soap, this base, how it's lathering up, how it feels, it's like really, really thick, like double cream. It is, it's incredible. It's slick. The scent is the biggest letdown on this one so far. The scent is pretty much there's not much scent there, if I'm honest. It's a very light leather scent. I know I've said it over and over again, but that's all I can highlight from it. Even now, because it's such a a linear scent, there's nothing, I don't get anything else from that but leather because it's just that one scent, I've sort of lost track of it now, I, I can't smell it again it's not complex enough for me to heat, smell something else and then come back to a different scent all I'm getting is the leather and it's so light and it's uniform, I'm not getting anything else so it's a bit surprising, I, I, I was expecting it to be just a little bit more complex than that given the notes in it and it's, it's not, but performance wise it's absolutely off the charts, brilliant, really good it's one of the best I've used This is 
just amazing. Look at this. That's what I've just scraped off my face. It's so dense. That's been in the washer now. I cannot really emphasise how nice this lather is. It's definitely on a par. Maybe pushing it out towards being better than Holy Call. For density, for slickness, for ease of lather, for the performance when it's on your face. I mean, this, that is, wow. Slick, super slick. Colonial General is actually a really nice race to use, I'm quite surprised. Now if you've come to this channel for reviews you get honesty with me, with, with your reviews. If, if the razor are shit, it's shit. If the blade's shit, it's shit. If the soaps are crap, they're crap. This is a really nice razor to use. If you like single edge razors you'll love this I think. It's far superior. in the shave, in the feel, maybe even in the looks department over the mongoose, but the mongoose is a nice looking razor but it's more of a, for me it's more of a display razor, I, I couldn't use it. If I owned it, it would just be an ornament, I would never use it. This however, the Colonial General, I think I, I was in a position to use that if it was in the den. Oh, yeah, super slick, but it's not oily. Uh, I, I, like it's coming off my hands, relatively easy on the tail. But that's phenomenal. I'm just emptying this in there because it's it's chock as full of thick batter. Just add a little bit more nice clean water in there. Here we go. Third ladder on the from Noble Otter Flying Hide. See, I've got that smell of leather again now that I've reapplied it from the brush. Look, it's a nice scent. It's, if you're into leather scents and you love that smell of leather, it's a lovely scent. It is a leather scent. It's pretty much what the name says flying hide, leather hide sort of thing. It just doesn't live up to the expectation I was expecting from the, the scent notes. I was expecting to get a nice hit of tobacco and... I mean, it could just be extremely well blended. And that's... I'm just not getting the whole experience of it from the blend being so good. One of my wife's bloody hairs and my brush here. Massive. But this ladder, wow. I can sort of feel a good lather, I know when it's amazing, when I put it on my lips and I can feel it's just like, it's just like thick cream, like whipped cream, really thick double cream out the tub. I'm just adding more water just to see how it reacts and how it explodes again if it explodes. This is top notch, top drawer. Now, depending how the Porsche feel is, I can tell you right now, based on everything else I've used so far, it's the best soap I've used. It's better than Holy Call. It's the best, best soap I've used. 
and I've not even finished it. So if Porsche feels good, it'll be my number one soap base. My contract for my phone is up in September as well, so I've been looking, well, I was going to go iPhone again, I've always had iPhones and I didn't think I would ever go away from iPhone and then I thought, you know what, a few guys at work have got the Galaxy S9, it takes lovely photos, does lovely video, but then I looked into it a little bit further and the S9 from Galaxy from Samsung if you want to record 1080p video like I do 1080p at 60 frames per second I can record as much as I want on the iPhone as long as my storage can take it on the Samsung for 1080p 60 frames per second there's a 10 minute time limit per video shot so I'd have to record 10 minutes and then it'll stop and I'll have to start again and record another 10 minutes stop it again then record and I thought what a pain in the ass that is so at this stage because my phone is my YouTube camera it's a little bit difficult to buy a phone that doesn't allow me to record my full video in one hit unless I do it at 1080p with 30 frames per second which would still give out a great picture and I know it's only a shaving video but it's the principle of the thing it's like Samsung have been making really good cameras for ages and they can't quite I mean that's three phones in a row that I've found out now if I want to record at 4k 60 frames per second like the iPhone X or the iPhone 10. I can only record five minutes at a time on a Galaxy S9, but on the iPhone I can record unlimited time. Uh, so it's it's quite, for me that's quite a major thing really. It's it's a bit stupid really. You know these phones now are massive for vloggers and things. And if you can only record ten minutes at a time on a higher frame rate, right? Just use the residual slickness here because there's so much of it. It's going to rinse off now. <laughs> now I have to give give my due to these single edge razors. I used the Mongoose yesterday for full face shave and head shave. I've used this one today for full face shave. I haven't had a nick, cut, weeper or anything from either of them. So in that regard, I can't really grumble with them. They're just not my sort of thing. I'm not a big fan of single edge razors. I don't like the look of them really. But these ones shave much better, I think. In fact, I would say that's probably the nicest shaving single edge razor I've used, even over the gems, this, Monk, this Colonial Gem. It's very, very smooth. It looks okay. The Kai Captain Mild are a very nice blade. It's a very sharp blade, but it's very smooth as well. Very, very, very. Keep using very. Why not? I'm just letting this dry on my skin for a little bit. I've got a little bit of irritation under my chin. I think I've pushed a little bit hard with the razor under there, so that's just right under here, but no weepers or anything like that, so it's pretty impressed. Right, there we go, let's find out if these labels are waterproof, which I'm pretty sure they will be, on the soap that is. Soap base is semi-hard, it's like, it's 
hard to the touch and then when you push it, give it just a little push, it sort of it crushes down a little bit. If you've used Parasso pre-shave, it's sort of hard to the touch just as you tip, your, put your tip, fingertip on it. If you just put a little bit of pressure on it, it just sort of gives straight away and melts. That's what this soap's like. So, yeah, straight out of there, all I'm getting is leather. And that's just been warmed up in the warm water. So I'm not getting anything else from this scent, so I'm not disappointed by it, but I am in a sense that I, I knew this was going to be a leather scent, it's, uh, the name says it's going to be a leather scent, but I was expecting a little bit more complexity to it, given that it's got, or should have, bergamot, bay, smoky cedar and tobacco with the leather. Now the fact that it's bergamot, bay, smoky cedar and then tobacco and leather last, it would sort of make, in my head I'm thinking, right, well they're going to sort of be really up there. Normally when I write a list of something, the top of the list would be the strongest and work its way down, but yeah, the scents, it's just a leather scent. If you like leather scents, buy it. I think you'll like it. But to be brutally honest with you, I think Lone Star is a much nicer leather scented soap. It's got hay and another couple of bits in there, but it's much more complex. It's got a very slight sweetness to it. It's just a nicer scent in terms of the leather scent I find as well, overall, all round. This one just for me is just pure leather. So if you like pure leather, boom, go for it. And the soap today was Flying Hide. If you haven't noticed, that's what I've been talking about <laughs> from Noble Otter Shading Company. Lovely labels, really like, but it's, it's quite minimalistic. Looks great, the tub's a good size, four ounces of soap. It's uh, performance wise, wow. Pastor's 2017 Envy Shade Brush. One of only 15 in the world. I love this brush, I love the knot. Absolutely brilliant. And the Colonial General, single edge razor. I've got the second juice Kai Captain Mail Blade in there. Stainless steel construction. It's pretty nice. It's not as the tolerances on it aren't brilliant. They're not the best tolerances. It holds the blade exactly where it needs to be, I suppose, which is the main thing. But it's just a little bit off. Like, even, like, you probably won't see, but it's, you can probably see that. This top cap here on the back, this top cap, is just sitting slightly high. I think you can just see it, just. Whereas on this side, it's sitting slightly low. So there's a couple of little bits of tolerance that are just a little bit out. It's just not the finished 100% article for me, but for 99 bucks, well, I was going to say for 99 bucks, you can't really ask for much more, but then you look at the carve, <laughs> it's, it is precision milled everywhere. And as I say, it's actually technically cheaper. It's less than 99 American, but it's 99 Canadian. So, well for me it is anyway with the exchange rate, so just gives you a bit of an idea. And Paul's shave is exceptional, it's really nice. So, Noble Otter, your soap base is spot on. It's the best soap base I've used, there you go. It's better than Holy Call. The Paul's shave feels beautiful, it feels like that sort of silky smooth but moisturised. Doesn't feel oily or greasy at all. I'm really impressed, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. If I'm honest, i would never heard of your company before, but I'm really, really impressed with it. And I'm sort of glad now, because I know the other four sets that I've got are more complex, they've got more going on with them, and I prefer them over this one. This is the least favourite out of the five cents, I think, so far. So I'm quite, quite happy. I'm looking forward to moving on to these other scents. So that being said, I'm going to finish off still with a little bit of Shave Works, the Cool Fix. A little bit of this. Wonderful. Now the fact that that hasn't burned my skin at all, I've got no sting, tells me that I've actually had a really nice shave, even under my chin area where I thought it was a little bit, going to be a little bit sensitive. It's still nothing, no burn or anything, so I'm really happy with that. So Noble Auto Shaving Company, check out the soaps. If you don't like leather, don't go for this scent. Just as simple as that. It's not a scent if you're not a leather lover. I am not a leather lover, so I wanted the tobacco and the other things to come through on this one, and it hasn't done that. So I'm a little bit disappointed with it. But the performance on the base and the actual lather it makes, the performance during the shave, the post shave, the slickness, the residual slickness, the creaminess of the lather is exceptional. It's phenomenal soap. I don't use that word lightly when I use it, it's something that I absolutely love. It is absolutely brilliant soap. So if you want, Probably, in my opinion, 
along with Holy Call, Shaving Shot, the club's new base. I think it's the Ariana and Evans base, the Goat's Milk, I think it is. And there's a few others out there, your Barrister and Man. And then you've got your grooming department, Vegan, which I've used, which is amazing. The new artisan coming out over here, APR. It is up there with the best, and as far as I'm concerned, this one just edges everything in the market at the moment that I've used for every single aspect of making the lather. So very, very high praise from me. And like I say, you get honesty on this channel. I love this base. It is absolutely off the charts. First time I've ever made that ladder, and you've seen how good it was. And the post shave on it, brilliant. Just the scent. Scent's off for me. Scent's not right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.